we've been given a quadratic expression that we need to factor. In other words, we need to figure out what we could put inside two sets of parentheses so that when we simplify them, when we multiply them together using FOIL, we end up with this expression here. You want to start by looking at these first two spots here. When we multiply these together, they have to multiply to this first term here, the 5x squared. If you're familiar with doing problems with just an x squared, you would do an x and an x. So in order to change it to get it to come out to 5x squared, we need to do a 5x and an x. The second thing you want to do is look at this last term here. The numbers in the last two spots here have to multiply to this negative 6. In order to get two numbers to multiply to a negative, that means you need one of them to be a positive and one of them to be a negative. So we'll just put a plus sign and a minus sign. And at this point, I'm not sure if the plus sign goes in the first spot or the second spot. Um, but don't worry too much about where they go. You can always switch the plus and the minus around. The important thing is that you have one of each sign. The next thing you want to do is figure out what numbers could possibly go in these last two spots. We know that they need to multiply to a negative 6. So let's list out the numbers that multiply to 6. I know I could do a 1 and a 6 or a 2 and a 3. And one of these is going to have to be a positive and one will be a negative. So let's just try one and see if it works. Let's start with the 1 and the 6. So we'll try 5x plus 1 and x minus 6. If I distribute this through using FOIL, I would get 5x squared from the first. I would distribute the 5x to the minus 6 and get a negative 30x for the outsides. The insides would give me a plus 1x. And then the last would be a minus 6. This comes out to 5x squared minus 29x minus 6. So I got the minus 6 part right, and I got the 5x squared part right, but the middle term was supposed to come out to a negative 13x, and I got a negative 29x. That tells you that this is not the correct answer. Um, now we could try it by switching the minus and the plus signs around, but whenever you switch the signs, all that's going to happen is this middle term will change sign because it will turn this into a plus 30 and this a minus. So this number doesn't change, just the sign of it will. So that's not going to help us get a negative 13. Now when you had problems with just an x and an x, it didn't matter which spot you put these last numbers in. But when your numbers in the first spots are different, then it does make a difference which order they go in. So we can't just rule out the 1 and the 6 just yet. We need to try switching them around and see if that fixes anything. So let's try switching them and do a 6 and a minus 1. This time if I do the first, I get 5x squared again. The outsides would give me a minus 5x, and the insides would be plus 6x. These combine to a positive 1x which is not what I wanted. I wanted a negative 13. Um, if I switch the signs, the only difference it will make is it will switch it to a minus 1x. So that doesn't help either. So this means that we know for sure now that 1 and 6 is not going to work. So let's jump to the 2 and the 3. So let's start with trying 5x plus 2 and x minus 3. And if this doesn't work, we can make some adjustments. So the first would give you 5x squared. The outsides would give you a negative 15x. The insides would be a plus 2x. And the last would be a minus 6. Negative 15 plus 2 is negative 13x. And that is what I wanted it to come out to. So it does match the expression we were given. So that tells us the final answer um, for the factorization would be 5x plus 2 and x minus 3.